So we're going to see a Tomoanage attempt and she transitions directly into the Kanto choke. She lifts her head to avoid the Kanto choke, gets caught in a leg grab Tomoanage, a legal leg grab. I have videos on this type of Tomoanage on my channel. Now she's tied up the wrist, trapped one leg, sit back on her opponent's head. Now she's caught in half guard, but she's got the wrist trapped. I'm not sure whether she ties off the wrist with the belt. Looks like she's not going to need to do it here. So actually she's let go of the Udegarami type grip. Now she's re-establishing the Udegarami. I think this time she's going to wrap up that wrist with the belt, there it is, and now she's able to kick herself free. So this video is the best pins and best transitions to pins from the 2022 Kodokan Cup. I've also included some of the more famous competitors like Tsukasa Yoshida and all of her three pin wins from this tournament. But the primary focus of this video is on different types of Osai Komi and transitions to Osai Komi. So here's a nice Ochi Gaishi. Initially she goes for the Ashigatame, trying to lock out on that arm. But in the transition, her opponent ends up having to flatten out. And she goes for a Sankaku type turnover. And just like in the last video, we see Uda Garami established and then she uses the belt to pin that wrist in place and that enables her to free her hand. Now she moves into the Shiba Lock. Good flexibility to get the left leg across the opponent's body. And it's really hard to get out of the Shiba Lock with this belt wrap grip in place. Because if you can't straighten your arm it's really difficult to escape that Shiba lock and the pant grip she had keeps her in place. Now Sasai Tsurikomiyashi into a Kurieri Jime she gets the turn and she makes a nice transition with her right hand to pin her opponent to the mat that's stopping her from turning towards her right I mean, even if she was to turn towards her right, she'd be at risk of getting choked. Next up, we've got Momo Tomooki. We've got three Momo Tomooki clips in this video. Here is a Huzinga roll. So she hooks her opponent's arm with the leg, rolls through attaches onto her opponent's leg during the roll and then from there she transitions to standard Munegatame. So the other two Momo Tomooki clips will come up later in this video. Tomooki won the 57 kilo division. Next we have Ashi Sankaku. So I hadn't seen this technique for a while, but Miku Tashiro had one pin win using Ashi Sankaku in this tournament. And then in the men's super heavyweights, Subasa Takahashi had three wins using Ashi Sankaku. So that move's really made a big comeback. I was thinking about making a video all about Subasa Takahashi, but I think I'm gonna wait see how he does at the Tokyo Grand Slam. If he does win a medal at the Grand Slam, there will be a video on him shortly after. Next we have Sankaku Gatame came out of the Osoto Gari attempt. So this was the only Sankaku turnover that uh, resulted in Sankaku Gatame. There were a few Sankaku turnover types in this video, but in none of them do they actually fully establish and keep the Sankaku. So I do have a, a crying baby, well not a crying baby, more of a, a, a 
groveling baby who's in between milk feeding at the moment, so apologies for any of the background noise that's coming through, but my wife's doing a good job taking care of her. So I think she'll be quiet for the rest of the video. Now we see a nice katagatame entry. And the girl in white is pretty flexible and she tries to step her leg across the back of her opponent and tries to hook her hook her thigh to remove her. It's an interesting idea, but uh, it doesn't seem to pay off. Now here's the best escape from this tournament. So I did a video on Shiho Tanaka's Cradle from the World Championships, but in this case we've got a Cradle escape. She's able to push with the free leg and then once she escapes the knee, she's got so much hip flexibility that she can rotate her leg, which gives her the room to get her head out. Now here's Chishima Maida, Ippon Sayanage to a belt grip turnover. She gets her hand under the belt, then wraps the lower half of the gi, the lower half of the judo gi, and puts it in her hand. And now she's able to pass guard. So the most popular video on my channel recently has been Maida Chishima's amazing two submission Ippons, both opponents knocked unconscious, one in highly unusual circumstances. So Maida actually took out the number one seed in this tournament, Ryoko Takeda. So Ryoko Takeda here using Udegarami to help her with the guard pass. And we see a lot of this in this video, people switching from Udagarami to guard passing situations, and switching from two-handed Udagarami control to one-handed control. But Takeda, as I mentioned, was choked unconscious in her match against Chishima Maida. I do have that on my channel. You've probably seen it since it's been very popular. Now the next two are from Karena Ikeda. The first one, she's got the wrist and she puts her hand between her opponent's legs, grabs onto the belt and just hoists her. And from there, she's able to transition to Udegarami and pass guard from the Udegarami. So Karina Ukiata has very impressive Nawaza and I do have one more clip of her to follow. But if you want to see Karina Ukiata get counted, you can check out my video on Rika Takayama from the Kodokan Cup. I think if you're enjoying this video, you'll like that video because Rika Takayama had a lot of Osai Komi wins. So here's Ikeda again. So she reaches under her opponent's armpit, puts the arm through, grabs onto her own lapel, and spins around, and she's able to come on top and transition from Udegarami to the half guard pass. If you want to see this move get counted, have a look at my video on Rika Takayama. Next up, Tsukasa Yoshida. She was the number one seed in the 57 kilo category. And she looked pretty good in the early rounds. She had three consecutive wins by Osai Komi. So I'm not sure which was the first one. Maybe this was the first one, the Uchimata. And this one, she does a nice low Ochigari scores Wazaari and then is able to pass the half guard. And 
and straight into Munegatame for the Awasete Ippon. Next up, Yoshida's third pin. I think this was actually the first of her matches. So she was able to rotate her opponent over. Similar turnover to the Chishima Maida turn. Gets past half guard and holds the guard pass very well. So Yoshida faced off with rival Momo Tamaoki in the final and lost on Shido's. So she hasn't had a particularly good run since the Olympics. She'll be hoping to go a little bit better at the Tokyo Grand Slam. It's going to be an interesting one with Yoshida, Tamaoki, Funakubo and Krista Deguchi in action. Now here's Momo Tamaoki. She's also going to be in the Grand Slam. This was an interesting little pin. She ends up with control of both of the wrists of her opponent after that Osoto Gari attempt. And this one's similar to the Karena Ikeda turn where she's got a wrist and then hoists her opponent by grabbing between the legs. And Tamaoki, as usual, does a very good job at finishing off in Newaza. So she also had a Jujigatame win. That's on my channel. I have a Jujigatame or a Kansetsuwaza joint lock compilation from the Kodokan Cup, including the men's as well as the women's. Now finally, we have Masako Doi. If you saw that uh, choke collection I put out, you would have seen Doi get put to sleep in the opening clip. And Doi up until that moment had a pretty impressive tournament. She had a nice Uchimata Ippon in her first round and she had two pins. She's well known for this turnover from Turtle and she used it very effectively here and we'll see a more complicated variation up next. So Doi after getting choked out, was not selected for the Tokyo Grand Slam. And here's the final clip of the video. So Masako Doi, Sumi Gaishi, comes up on top. She's already got control near the elbow, which helps her into this Sankaku turnover. She ends up in half guard, but first she's going to wrap up that arm. I guess the arm wrap has been one of the dominant themes for this video. The leg comes straight out and she's into Osai Komi. Subscribe for more non-stop Noaza.